Why do some people get drunk more quickly than others? Many people associate being drunk with increased confidence, talkativeness, and also with more worrying symptoms such as loss of coordination, drowsiness, and poor judgment. With such a wide spectrum of symptoms, is there a way to determine an individual's level of intoxication given the fact that each individual is unique? Although not a definitive measure, level of intoxication is typically measured by one's blood alcohol concentration. This is the amount of alcohol present in one's blood or breath as breathalyzers commonly check. The amount of drinks consumed are simply not a good indicator of level of impairment. Many bodily factors can affect individual alcohol tolerance. We hope to explore a few factors that might help users understand why they may get drunk slower or faster than others, even if they drink the same amount of alcohol. One particularly important factor is the sex of an individual. The main enzyme in the body that breaks down alcohol is alcohol dehydrogenase. Breakdown of alcohol commonly starts in the stomach and continues into the liver. Males have high levels of this enzyme in their stomach and a highly active form in the liver. Meanwhile, females have little to none of this enzyme in their stomach and a much less active form in the liver. Taken together, this leads to females absorbing more alcohol into their bloodstream and will result in females getting more intoxicated than males with the same amount of alcohol. Additionally, muscle content can play a key role. Water in the body can dilute alcohol and affect how long it remains in the body. Fatty tissue is low in water content and cannot absorb alcohol. Thus, it remains in the bloodstream until it is broken down later in the liver. Meanwhile, muscle has a high water content and will absorb it from the bloodstream. As a result, a bodybuilder may end up having a much higher tolerance than an average person. Alcohol is absorbed into the bloodstream slightly in the stomach, but mainly in the small intestine. Food in the stomach can prevent alcohol from entering the small intestine, thus delaying its absorption. A person who has a larger meal closer in time to drinking will have a lower peak blood alcohol concentration than somebody who drinks on an empty stomach. These factors illustrate just a few of the many interplaying components which can affect how quickly and how drunk an individual can get. We might be pressured into drinking the same amount of alcohol as our more higher toleranced friends, but should focus on knowing our own limits and drink accordingly. Taken together, we hope this encourages young adults to gain a deeper understanding of their own body and limits and drink in moderation.